evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Thursday, September 12, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. In tonight's news, the Tullahoma Fire Department observed the 12th anniversary of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on Wednesday morning. Family and friends of Shounder Fanning are setting up a scholarship fund at MTSU in her honor. State Senator Jim Tracy picks up another endorsement in his bid to unseat Congressman Scott Desjardins. The state says it's cutting a premium surcharge on unemployment rates charged to businesses and the Alzheimer's Association Memory Walk is coming up this weekend. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. What was that? That's the 2013 model year blowout sale going on now right here at Sam McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Right now you can get the 2013 Chevy Silverado for $9,000 off. No way! $9,000 off? That's right. And you can get the 2013 Chevy Impala for $6,000 off. With hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, do yourself a favor and get the Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. And remember, if anyone can, Stan can. Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bryn's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bryn's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Tullahoma. Hello, I'm Jim Woodard from Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Some think that since we're a single store operation, we don't have the buying power of the mega chain or department stores. Woodard's is a part of the Master IJO Jewelers, the world's largest jewelry buying group. This gives us the power of 800 million in sales. You get the best of both worlds, the buying power of a major with the customer service of a hometown jeweler. Woodard's Diamond Showroom, inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. Men love sports. But men can't always be at home with Charter TV watching sports. So men do what men have to do. They watch live ESPN on their mobile devices. Not simulated sports, real sports. Live ESPN, anytime, anywhere. Even here. Watch ESPN is available at no extra charge with your Charter TV service. Download the app or visit charter.net slash on the go. Welcome back. The City of Tullahoma Fire Department observed the 12th anniversary of the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks with a brief ceremony at Fire Station 1 on Jackson Street Wednesday morning. Let's watch video from that ceremony. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Tullahoma Fire Department commemorative celebration of 9-11. At this time, I'd like to ask Mayor Lane Curley to come up front and say a few words. Thank you, Chief, very much. Uh, what a beautiful day. What a great day to be in Tullahoma. Appreciate all of you being here, Chief. We appreciate you organizing this once again this year. Um, when I think back on that horrible day 12 years ago, it's hard to believe it's been 12 years to me, but um, I, I, a couple of things come to mind. First, the United States uh, made it through it. And we are certainly a very resilient country made up of a lot of resilient individuals. And I think that just shows uh, what, a, what a country we are. I think it also shows that we've become a more vigilant country as a result of that. Uh, we're all a little bit more careful about what we where we go and what we do and so forth. So uh, that was probably probably a good thing. The other thing that I, I think about 12 years ago when I was watching the TV, and I'm sure all of us remember where we were 12 years ago at this, at this moment, but uh, when I was watching the television and I saw the hundreds of people, perhaps thousands of people, streaming away from the terror 
I saw a group of individuals running to the terror. And I don't think I'll ever forget that scene. But there was a group of individuals that were prepared and did give their lives in service to protect others. I'm confident that we've got a group of men and women that would do and are prepared to do the very same thing should any of us need help as well. They would run to the terror and not away from it. So for that, we are very appreciative and our heartfelt thanks goes out to all of you for the work that you do and are prepared to do for all of us. So I join with Alderman King and Alderman Duncan and uh, thank all of you for the work that you do. back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Looking for a unique gift for someone special? Or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and signed sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick market where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any Quick Mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Let the Smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the Smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover. Kids welcome. Welcome back. Family and friends of Middle Tennessee State University alumna and UPS pilot Shonda Carney Fanning want to honor her passion for aviation by establishing a scholarship in her memory. A Lynchburg resident and Shelbyville, Tennessee native, Fanning was one of two pilots killed August 14th when their United Partial Service airplane crashed in Birmingham, Alabama. She was 37 years old. Like many, Chandra's best friend, Whitney Dix, also a pilot and currently a dispatch manager 
manager with Southwest Airlines in Texas was devastated by Fanning's death, but Dix is determined to keep her memory alive by spearheading a drive to establish a scholarship at their alma mater, which will be called the Chandra Canning, uh, Car uh, Carney, rather, Fanning Aviation Memorial Scholarship. Fanning graduated from Shelbyville High School before earning her bachelor degree in aerospace administration from MTSU in 1999. Her husband, Brett, works in distribution at the Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg. Dick said, quote, I want to give back to the aviation community and keep her memory and love of aviation alive, end quote. Details on the scholarship guidelines are still being finalized, but the goal is to begin awarding it for the 2014-15 academic year. The long-term goal is to increase the award to the university's centennial scholarship level, which requires a $100,000 endowment. Dix has begun, has begun contacting organizations interested in donating to the scholarship fund, which is being managed by the MTSU Development and Foundation Office. Anyone interested in giving to the Chandra Carney Fanning Aviation Memorial Scholarship can do so online at mtsu.edu slash Fanning Scholarship or by calling Amy Harden at 615-898-5003 or via email at amy.harden at mtsu.edu. A conservative political group says it will back Republican State Senator Jim Tracy in his bid to unseat 4th District Congressman Scott Desjardins in next year's GOP primary. The Concerned Women's PAC says the Jasper incumbent has abandoned his core principles. Group CEO Penny Nance says Tracy, a Shelbyville insurance agent, will give the 4th District a fresh start with his openness and candor. Desjardins came under fire from conservatives and pro-life groups earlier this year after revelations that he had a affairs with patients and co-workers and urged two women to seek abortions more than 10 years ago. Tracy has so far outraised Desjardins by a huge margin in campaign contributions. The 4th District includes Franklin, Bedford, Warren, Grundy, and Rutherford counties. Former Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mike McWhorter says that he will not make a repeat run for governor next year. McWhorter, son of former Tennessee Governor Ned McWhorter, lost to the Republican candidate Bill Haslam in the 2010 gubernatorial election. McWhorter told the Knoxville News Centennial that he is trying to recruit his wife, Mary Jane McWhorter, to seek the state Senate seat being vacated by Democratic Caucus Chairman Low Finney of Jackson. It's one of seven Senate slots now held by Democrats and one of two considered vulnerable to Republican takeover next year. Finney is not seeking re-election. McWhorter says there's been a groundswell of other people also recruiting his wife to run. McWhorter is currently a member of the Tennessee Valley Authority Board of Directors. The state says it's cutting a premium surcharge on unemployment rates charged to businesses. The Department of Labor and Workforce Development says it's removing the 6% fee charged to employers to fund the Jobless Benefits Program. The department says most employers should benefit from the reduction this quarter. The Unemployment Compensation Trust Fund has improved along with the Tennessee economy. At the end of June, the fund held some $650 million, enough to trigger removing the additional fee that was imposed in 2009 to help meet rising jobless claims during the start of the Great Recession. Other small reductions in the rate are expected for most employers during the next two calendar quarters. A Putnam County woman who made history when she was first elected to the state Senate in a write-in campaign says that she won't make another run next year. Democrat Charlotte Burks was elected to the 15th district seat in 1998 following the murder of her husband, then state Senator Tommy Burks. The man was gunned down on his farm near Monterey by his Republican opponent, Putnam County property assessor Byron Looper. Charlotte Burks was elected to replace her slain husband, Looper convicted of first First degree murder died in his in the state prison in, uh, in his state prison cell in June of this year. At the time, Coffee County was included in the 15th district. Charlotte Burks narrowly won re-election in 2010, and most believe she would face a tough race with a Republican challenger next year. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment with more news leader. Have you heard the news? The Russell Barnett Ford family has expanded to two separate locations. That's Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Russell Barnett Ford of Winchester. 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That means two times the customer service and two times the inventory. So no matter where you're located, let the Russell Barnett Ford family make your next vehicle purchase a great one. Two times the inventory, two times the customer service. That's the Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester. Why buy anywhere else? On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, fall promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. The Alzheimer's Association will be having their annual memory walk this weekend. Peggy Burton spoke to two of the event organizers. Cindy Richards and Angela Bowden. And they're here as representatives for the Alzheimer's Association and the big walkathon that's coming up this Saturday. So give me some details, Cindy. Um, it's going to be at South Jackson Civic Center. Registration starts at 8 o'clock. The walk will actually start at 9. What happens at 8? You get to go and do what? Well, we have free breakfast. I know, that sounded good to me. <laughs> and some coffee. That's always, always. good. <laughs> always. At 8 o'clock on a Saturday. That's yeah. a good day. And that's free. Absolutely. And of course, the idea is to raise money. This walk upon is to raise money. And it starts at 9 o'clock. And give us the route. Um, we're going to start at South Jackson Civic Center and then go all the way down to Walgreens with a police escort and oh, cool. come back. So even if you can't walk, come out. It'll be a lot of fun. Family day. And I think that you can make donations whether you walk or not. Yes. And uh, I did know the phone number, but maybe we can give the the website, which is www.alc.org. Alc.org. And if you want any kind of information about this event and other events to raise money for your loved ones or yourself, we never know, do we? That's right. And you can go on that website and check it out. Um, how many people do you think will show up? Um, last year we had, you know, four, three or four, five hundred people. There were several people coming out. It's pet friendly. I love so. that. Bring your dog. <laughs> Walk with your dog. Yes. They need to the exercise. Bring everybody in the entire family. There's something for everybody. Put your cat on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the idea they have things for children. Yes. So there's things there that the kids can do. And if you want to bring your lawn chair, is that a good idea? Sure. Or maybe sure. just sit there and watch the walk because everybody doesn't feel like walking. And I know entertainment and, and face yeah. painting for kids and, and breakfast, walking around getting information. We'll have a DJ, so oh, there'll be a lot of you fun. You can dance out there on the concrete. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, just have fun. Mm -hmm. I think exactly. It's important to do a good thing while you're having fun because mm -hmm. we all need exercise. That helps with all time. Yes, it does. Exercise, the food you eat, nutrition, getting enough sleep, lots of things that are, yes. are good for people. And uh, I think if you have any questions at all, go to that website. I have the number here. Can you read it off? Yes, ma'am. It's 1-800-272-3900. And that you can also get a lot, lots of information because I know that when my mother developed it, I had questions. Mm -hmm. And I worried every day, am I doing the right thing? And you can get some help through this organization. You yes. Maybe you need an hour to just breathe or go shop and get some food you can't leave the patient. Mm -hmm. You have to have help. And I think offering up this help is one of the most wonderful things. It is. It's and a great uh, cause because I, the money that we raise also helps um, 
families locally, you know, with resources, respite, so you can go out and do something, but also um, research to find a cure for Alzheimer's because and maybe someday. Yes, um, be Alzheimer's there. starts in your thirties. Um, Ouch! And it takes about thirty years to kind of manifest, and the older you get, the higher your risk is. So it's um, important to, get it. to know all the details. Mm -hmm. I notice that you're wearing a bracelet. Yeah. And you're wearing purple, and that's an Alzheimer's color. And yes. I think that uh, they're like if you want to get a bracelet, you can go down you can, where you can get them at the walk too. Yes. Um, we'll have all of that: the shopping bags, the bracelets, forget me not flowers to make a donation. But you can also get them. Uh, we have them at Emeritus, 801 Wilson Avenue. Come by, stop by, and get them anytime. We've got them there. You can that's make a great. donation. You know, I think that we must never forget. And that's what happens with Alzheimer's. You forget. Mm -hmm. We must never forget the need for research, mm -hmm. for help, yes. and for support, and, and, awareness. If, and awareness. And if you would like to volunteer, that would be great, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, don't forget to make your donation or, if nothing else, show up and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Girls, thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you. Angela, how nice to meet thank you. you. Thank Cindy, you. Cindy, nice to meet thank you. you. And that's it. Just show up Saturday morning at 8 o'clock, have some breakfast, and get on the walk at 9 o'clock. More news later on 6 is coming up after this commercial break. Stay with us. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma, come see the paint doctor stat. Today's charter tip, set up your parental controls. Children don't always know what they should and shouldn't watch, but parents do, and charter can help. Charter's parental controls are easy to set up. All you need is a four-digit pin. Then you can lock specific titles, channels, and show ratings. Even hide program titles and block paid programming purchases. Family protection in just four digits. Another way Charter gives you more. Visit charter.net slash tips to get started. Welcome back. The Coffee County Humane Society's featured pet this week is Prince. Prince is a tan-colored mixed breed and has been at the shelter for a long time. He has, uh, he has already been neutered and is looking for a loving home. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. Hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. Donate for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society at Post Office Box 252, Manchester, Tennessee, 37349. And their website is www.coffeehumane.org. And the pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a poodle named po uh, Pokey. Pokey is approximately one year old and entered the shelter as a stray. Pokey gets along well with other dogs and children. He has had his parvo and stemper vaccine. Pokey will receive a free neuter provided by the Tullahoma Animal Shelter. Microchip identification is available to all dogs adopted for a $15 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. State law also requires a $35 deposit refundable upon proof that the adopted pet has been neutered or spayed. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. News leaders Andrew Todd attended the premiere of a new video which was pr produced locally last Friday night at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. Andrew brings us this video. Welcome in. 
Chuck Connery, the director of Morbid, and I want to give a big thanks to the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center for showing our film here tonight. It's much appreciated. It's, it's made just like that. There's scratches, there's jerks, there's twitches in it, but it's all intentional, I promise. Now, this movie here, it was filmed in five days. We had a week to film it. We only got it done in five, which is good for us, you know, when you see what we got here. I think we did really, really well for five days. And uh, like I said, when this is done, we're going to do a Q&A with the cast if you guys have any questions. And if I've done my job, you'll have questions. Uh, you'll have a lot of questions. But I do have a pretty big announcement to make regarding the future of what you're about to see. Morbid 2! Well, not, maybe not Morbid 2, but maybe what's happening with this and what we plan on doing in the future. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy what you're about to see. It was my first full-length film, so it's a big night, special night, and I'm happy to share it with all you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, I, I thought there at the end, I, I was wondering if we might offend a few people or not, but I think they got it, oddly enough. I think the, the humor that builds up from the start to the end, I think they, they kind of realize what's going on and just roll with it, so they wasn't really that offended. I think they actually found it humorous, which is a good thing, I do like, if you'll notice, like, no matter what has happened in town during that, everybody in the movie is more concerned with their own stuff. You know, it's like, it doesn't matter who's dying or whatever, it's just everybody's worried about, uh, you know, either getting ahead on the local paper or getting to the game or worrying about breaking up with their boyfriend for somebody else. I mean, nobody's really concerned with what's going on. Well, it's a universal thing. We're more concerned with us than... Mm -hmm. You know, the world coming Even to it. Even if it happens in your back door, you know, it's still, it's like, that it don't affect me. I, it exceeded my expectations. I didn't know how many people was going to show up, but I'm very happy with the number, happy with the turnout, and I'm happy with the reaction. I mean, that did even better than I thought it was probably going to do, so. Really, I, I want to give, you know, a big, big thanks to the Telehome Fine Arts Center for having it, and uh, it's even more special to think that it's premiering the one year anniversary from when it was filmed, so. Absolutely. Everything just came together perfectly, I think. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. Last month's sales were so good, I need cars now to restock my lot. I'm Keith Barnett at Russell Barnett Key, and I've come up with a plan. It's my car bazaar. Whether you owe 1,000 or several thousand on the car that you hate, this car bazaar is here to help you out. You have a job in $149, my For the People credit approval process is here to help you out. Good credit, bad credit, no problem. Hurry in before the car bazaar ends. I'm Keith Barnett, and I'm the dealer for the people. <laughs> hey. Charter Internet has the bandwidth to support more devices than anyone else in the market. So everyone can do their own thing, whether it's watching puppy videos or creating an all-powerful command center to mastermind the complete domination of the world, the universe, and... Ooh, ice cream! Get 30 megabits per second for only $30 and let it all in. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1962 at 95 degrees. The record low was in 1940 at 37 degrees. The average high on this day is 83 and the average low is 60. For tonight, look for mostly clear weather with a low of around 66. Mostly sunny weather in your forecast for Friday with a high of 81 and a low of 53. And that's sunny weather hanging out for Saturday as well with a high of 78 and a low of 57. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening.